everyone. Thank you for watching Task Force Blackjack's A2T use and installation tutorial. Okay, um, first off, we'll be installing the A2T mod, which is designed by Lakalto and Johnson of Blackwater, France, and it can be found at uh, BIS uh, Interactive Forums or uh, Blackwater, France's website, but I don't speak French, so we'll get it from BIS. And there's the address for BAS, which I'll post in the uh, video description at the end of the video. And this mod is a uh, it is a uh, add-on that allows Arma 2 to communicate with TeamSpeak 3 to simulate realistic communications. So we'll uh, be using version 005, which is the uh, the latest version of this mod. And that is right there. You click. Click the uh, link next to the arrow there, and save that to your desktop. And then we'll go ahead and get started on it here. We're gonna first start by uh, extracting the uh, contents of the zip folder, and we extract those to the desktop. And we're gonna come down here and uh, drag that up here where we can work with it. And this is what the folder should look like when you extract it. Open that up. Now, when you look inside this folder, there's uh, there's quite a few different things in here. Uh, uh, main two things we'll be working with is the uh, the uh, Arma folder and the uh, Teamspeak folder. Okay, so we're going to start off with the uh, with the Arma folder here. Go ahead and open that up, and inside it, you'll notice that there's a uh, there's a public key and an at t2 or an at 2t folder in here. Okay, so we're not going to worry with the public key. So that's uh, that's for if you're setting it up on a server, I think. But uh, we just need the at a 2t folder there. So we're going to copy that. And then we're going to go to our uh, wherever we have ARM installed, which mine is installed on the C drive, program files, Bohemia, ARMA 2. And then I'm going to paste that folder. And make sure I got it in here. And there it is at the bottom down there. Okay, let me open that up, make sure it's got the add ons in it and the two files okay so I've installed the folder into my ARMA2 directory now the next folder we need to worry with is back out to the uh, root directory of the zip file here and uh, the next folder we need to worry with is the TeamSpeak folder now, inside that you're gonna notice there's a there's a 64 D DLL and a 32 dot DLL now you need to find out which operating system you're using uh, uh, should be pretty pretty easy to find out uh, just look on a box of your operating system or um, yeah, you should know what operating system you have now for me I have the 32 uh, 32 bit Windows XP so I'll be using the uh, 32 bit and this Arma 2 folder you see here okay and both of these items that I'll be using will go into the team speak uh, plugins folder but let's take a look at this first here uh, inside this folder we got some uh, some sound files you'll see inside here and uh, what these sound files are is uh, when you're in in the game uh, you'll uh, and you're using the mod you'll hear uh, every time you key the radio you'll hear a chirp uh, or if you're on short a short range or a long range radio you'll hear uh, different chirps and static and stuff like that that's all these sound these are just sound files for the mod right here. So, all right. So we're gonna take uh, we're gonna take these two, this folder in the 32-bit folder for me since uh, I'm using Windows XP 32-bit, and we're gonna copy those. And then we're gonna go to our TeamSpeak 3 directory, where we have TeamSpeak 3 installed. So mine is installed in C, Program Files and TeamSpeak 3 okay inside the TeamSpeak 3 folder we're looking for the plugins folder it's right there 
Okay, open the plugins folder up. You'll notice you'll have some other plugin stuff in here, other DLL files and stuff. Just to paste the two items that we copied from the zip folder, which is Arma 2TS sounds and uh, 32 or 64 bit, whichever respective operating system you have. And you have installed the uh, TS, the TeamSpeak 3 part. Next step we need to do is open the TeamSpeak window and come up to settings tab up at the top here. Actually we'll do the help tab first. We'll go to this help tab first. Open that and uh, we'll do a check for update. We want to make sure we have the latest update of TeamSpeak for uh, version 005 to work with our TeamSpeak 3. So check for update. And I'm already running the latest version, which is uh, 10.7.23. So we should be good on that. And then we need to come to the Settings tab. And the uh, first thing we need to do in the Settings tab is uh, is uh, come down to the Options. And then we're going to come come over here to the side to the uh, to the Playback tab right here. And then on the Playback tab, we need to come down here to the bottom of the playback tab and we're looking for the uh, always set clients when we always set clients 3D positions when available. We want to make sure that box is checked right there. That uh that that makes it so uh it so the program knows where we are in relation to other clients in the game. Okay. So make sure that's checked, hit apply and okay. The next step, we're going to come back up to uh, settings, come down to plugins there, open the plugins tab, and uh, you come down here and there's a reload button at the bottom of the screen there, and you click that reload button. You'll notice that the uh, Arma 2 plugin shows up at the top now there and we want to make sure this uh, Arma 2 plugin is checked now and it's kind of it was already checked but it's kind of hard to see because it was highlighted okay so once you have that check hit close and now you've installed the uh, A2T in the TeamSpeak 3 another thing uh, I can mention about the uh, why you're like if you're playing the game and you need to alt tab out and, and shut it off you can just uh, Alt tab out of your game, come to settings at the top up here, and uh, you can uh, come back to the plugins, and you can you can turn this on and off while you're playing the game, and uh, it should disable it for you uh, if you need to shut it off while you're playing. But any other time you want to use it, it has to be checked. Okay. So now that we have that installed into the TeamSpeak window, we need to. Uh, Make sure that we're uh, running our mod, our A2T mod, when we start Arma up. So, I use Arma 2 Launcher. Uh, I don't know what everyone else uses. You can uh, use it by putting it to, into the command line or whichever version. But uh, I find that the Arma 2 Launcher is the easiest version for me. So, um, make sure that's uh, selected or put into your command line, and then uh, start Arma up and uh, watch the next part of the tutorial for uh, how to configure it inside Arma 2. Thanks for watching.